Greetings! In this video, we're going to look at building our gradebook using items and categories. Now remember, we are just building the spaces for our grades. We'll look at associating them with specific content like quizzes, discussion boards, and assignments in another video. The thing that's going to make this easiest for you is have a copy of how your grades are going to break down from your syllabus. If you have this right next to you, this process will be rather simple as we go through. So let's take a look. Now the first thing we're going to do is build a new category in this weighted gradebook system for our quizzes. We'll go to New and go to Category. And if you remember from our example, we had the quizzes category and we're going to have four items within that category to equal 30% of the grade. So this is going to be quizzes. Don't need a short name if you require if you don't want to use one. And our overall weight for this category was going to be 30%. Now, if for whatever reason you were going to have a lot of bonuses in your quizzes and students could earn more than like 101% on each of the quizzes or so forth, you'd want to give that the ability for this to top 30% if a student were to receive every question, every question right it would just allow them to get full points for every quiz that they took. Now, here is the distribution. If you remember from our example, each of our quizzes were going to be worth the same weight. So what we're going to do now is check this box to distribute weight evenly across all items in the category. The others, you would manually assign weights to each item in the category, or depending on how many points each was worth, it would be distributed by the category. One of the benefits of distributing weight evenly across all items as a category is you would be able to set and eliminate either the highest or the lowest in a particular category if you chose to. Now, here are some other display options in this category. You could display the class averages to user. You could display class grade distribution if you'd like. Or, as I had stated in the earlier video, you could overwrite any of the display options that you set in the setup wizard. And by checking this box here, you could just show students one or two aspects. Say you didn't want to use the grade colors um, in this particular category, you could remove it. And then we'll click Save and Close. And you can see here we've created our quiz category. Now, one thing that I want you to be conscious of while you're working here is you will get these notices up at the top letting you know that something in your gradebook is out of sync which will result in the math not working out correctly. Now as you're building it these notices are perfectly natural but when you're done you want to make sure that all of these are gone. That will assure that your math is going to be correct and you can see right now we've only got 30 percent out of the 100 percent for our total gradebook and that is because we've just added 30 percent for this quiz and here you can see our final calculated grade. We are going to want to get that to 100% by the time we're done. So now we'll look at creating items in each of our quiz categories, the four quizzes that we spoke to. So we'll go up to here again to New, go to Item. Now we want to choose what type of item we'd like to bring in. And numeric 90% of the time is going to be the one you choose because this is where you'll actually put in a numeric grade and it's going to be calculated into the weighted system. And we're just going to call for ease, we'll call this quiz one. Again, short names aren't necessary. And here you're going to choose the category that you'd like it to go into. And we're going to choose quizzes. Depending on the points that your quiz has, and one of the things that can make this less confusing for students is to make the maximum points available equal to the maximum points available onto the quiz. So let's just use Havert, uh, 100 as a starting place. And then because we chose to evenly distribute the weight across a category, Brightspace is going to let right now, since this we've only got one item in this category, it's going to set it at 100% of that core category, and we'll see what that looks like 
when we go back to the manage grades. Again, if you think these quizzes could go a above 100% or 100 points, if a person were to get a bonus point, you'd check can exceed. Careful with the bonus here. What bonus does would make all of these points, this maximum of 100 points, all bonus points within that category. So it wouldn't be figured into the average grade, but added on top. So this is going to have a limited um, outreach or a limited use depending on how you're putting together in your grade book. And again, we'll use our default grade scheme here as a percentage. If you had others in this category or you had built others in the schemes, you could change and use those as well. You could add rubrics to this if you wanted to see, you know, students to see how or why this was being graded the way it was. And again, those same options to override and so forth that are in individual categories. And we're going to click Save and Close. And you can see here our quizzes, our gradebook is starting to develop. Um, we can see that it's numeric, its max points is 100, and right now it is 100% of the category of the 30%. Now you can see this indentation. So everything under these quizzes has got to equal 100% by the time we're done. And we'll add another one so you can see what that difference looks like. Again, new item. We're going to use numeric and quiz two. Our category again, we want to put that into quizzes. And we'll stay within our same points. And you can see here, Brightspace has already made this worth 50% of the grade. There are some bonus questions on possibility of this, so I'm going to earn some, you know, extra credit questions to, to keep it from being confusing with bonus. I'm going to use that percentage grade scheme, and we'll keep all these override functions the same. And again, save and close. And you can see here, we've got that in numeric, that 50% and 50% of this 30%, and we can tell these are items in this category because you can see they are indented here. Now through the magic of video, we're going to jump ahead and quickly create our last two quizzes in this category. And you can see here, we've created our four quizzes within our quizzes category. So these are all items. And remember, items are the only thing in which you could enter a grade in. We can see currently that they're not associated with their quizzes, but we'll look at association in another video. And you can see that each of these worth 100 points, but they're only worth 25% of this 30%. You can see that that 30% is the only ones figured in our overall grade at this point. So again, let's take a quick look at our syllabus here, and we can see that we've got our quizzes, the 30%, they're all in there and all have the same weight. Now we're going to look at our writing prompts. The difference here is we're going to have three total, and they're all going to have a different weight. And again, remember, every category must equal 100% of the items within the category. Of the When you add all the items together in a category, they must equal 100%. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So we're going to create our new category. And we'll call it writing prompts. And we don't need a short name for it. The weight for this category we had established was going to be 20%. And we are going to manually, manually assign weight to the items in this category because we all wanted them all to be different. And again, we'll keep all our display options the same and we'll click Save and Close. And again, you can see our writing prompt here. We've added 20% to our overall um, weight, and now our weight is up to 50% of our total grade. So you can see how that math starts to work and how it starts to add each other. Now, we're gonna create the items, a new item. It's going to be numeric. And again, just for ease, we're gonna call this writing prompt or WP1. We are going to put it in our writing prompts. So you can see as we create these categories, they become available for us to choose. And we have, you know, just going to glance down at our syllabus again. We can see that that first one was going to be worth 20% of our overall weight. So maximum points, again, they can get 100 points on this. 
and we're going to give this first one a 20 points. There is not going to be any opportunity for um, extra credit on these, so we won't put that these can exceed. And again, we'll keep these display options as the same, and we'll save and close. And you can see our first one is in there. Um, so we're going to again, we're going to add a new item. We're going to make it numeric. And we're going to call this writing prompt two. And as we go back to our syllabus, we can see that that was going into our writing prompts category. <clears throat> again, total 100 points possible on this, but the weight for this one was just going to be 35% of the grade. So we can, we can write that in. Again, there's not going to be any chance for bonus or what have you on this. So we're going to click save and close. Now, again, here, just looking at our prompts, we can see that these are perfectly acceptable. We've only got 50% of our 100%. That's in our plan. But you can see right now, writing prompts only sums up to 55%. Again, 20 plus 35. We're going to fix that with our, life, our last writing prompt, which was going to be at 45%. So one more addition of this item. Again, it'll be numeric. We're going to call it writing prompt 3. Don't need a short name. Again, we have our writing prompts category that we're going to choose here. It is a value of 100 points. Again, no bonus needs or anything here. The weight for this last one was going to be 45%. Um, and again, we'll keep all these settings for view and managing together the same. And we'll click Save and Close. And now you can see since we have that total of 100% here, 20 plus 35 plus 45, that one error is, is moved away. And we've still got this 50% that we need to fix. Now, if we go back to our syllabus, we can see that we have three um, items in here that we need to take, that we need to add to our gradebook. Our final project, our final exam, and a participation grade. Now, since we are going to enter grades into these directly, we want them to be items. Categories you cannot enter directly. You can only enter grades into an item. We're going to add three items that'll balance out the remainder of the 100% that we need for our gradebook. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So we're going to add a new item. And again, a numeric since it's going to figure into our weighted total. And it was final project. Does it need a share name? Now here, we are not going to place this particular item in a category. So then it'll sort of carry an equal weight as a category. Again, this project is going to have 100 points available. And in our syllabus, we had stated that that was going to be worth 15% of the grade. Again, I'm not going to put any opportunities for um, to exceed or go above that 15% when I grade it. So it will be there. And again, I'm going to keep all these settings the same and click Save and Close. And you can see here that final project has moved down here. Take a look at this. It is at the same sort of indentation as your categories. So you can see that it's going to carry that sort of equal weight as far as its percentage goes as the categories. And you can see that 15% that's right down here is figured into the 30 plus the 20 plus the 15, where these percentages are going to live underneath this writing prompts category. So just kind of give you an idea of what that looks like when it's mapped out. We are still 35% short on our grade here, and we're going to figure that with two more items. And our, again, we're going to use numeric. The final exam, it is not going to be in the category again. It is going to be worth 100 points. And that final exam weight was 30% of the overall grade. Not going to be any extra credit questions or anything on that exam, so we'll keep it the same. And we'll click Save and Close. And then our last item that we are going to add was going to be our participation grade. And again, there's going to be 100 points possible on that, but the weight of that in the overall grade book was just going to be 5%. Essentially, we'll enter that grade near the end of the semester. And then we'll save and close. And you can see here that we have successfully created our grade book. All our errors or notes at the top are gone. We can see our quizzes 
are worth 30% of our grade and each of them are divided evenly. We can see our writing prompts are worth 20% of the grade and writing prompts 1, 2, and 3 are weighted differently as far as they are in that category, the last one being worth more. And then our final project, our final exam, and our participation all are weighted differently, but as you can see as they sit out here to the left, they carry an equal weight as a category. And the really great thing is our number down here is equal 100%, so our grade book is currently balanced. Now, what we'll look at is associating these items with various quizzes and assignments in our content folder in another video.